what is gateway drug how a child exposed to drugs how a person exposed to drug first i will uh, as i mentioned in my previous uh, lectures the uh, addiction um, which is a loss of control essentially with uh, negative consequences and compulsive to use and also i explain about dependence um, uh, what is dependence uh, and um, i also talk about the salience now i want you to understand the gateway drugs how a person exposed to drug of course uh, it's itself have multiple reasons but there are certain substances which are called gateway drugs these gateway drugs are available everywhere almost everybody's house like a solvents like a dry eraser uh, computer a cleanser paints spray um different type of um, uh, 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 cleanser at home uh, even dry markers these children start inhaling them and once they start inhaling they feel high and and then slowly they become addicted to it they enjoy it they feel funny and later on in a school they exposed to cigarettes and uh, cigarette is very addictive and all these substances release in some shape or form um, dopamine and as i mentioned in the early stages they feel high and later on they become addicted to it uh, then they expose to weeds and um, the problem is many people uh, in fact even our media try to project as this is normal um, in fact some people try to say this is even healthy it is healthy only on a certain group of pe people for a large um, um, uh, population uh, particularly children it is extremely harmful people get dependent on that also so just to say that in many states the marijuana uh, is legal doesn't mean that it is safe it is extremely harmful substance and we should we should prevent our children to use it so they exposed to weeds um, and then subsequently cocaine which is very stimulant and very harmful substance they exposed so these drugs are called gateway drugs and when they expose these drugs then as i mentioned before in my previous lectures then they try to balance themselves because they knows if they don't get the substance they will have negative consequences and they they want to feel high initially they feel high but later on they don't even feel high in order to function in order to work in order to study they need that substance and the and then then later on they use more and more substances and then they goes to the doctor and doc, doc, doctor even find that they cannot even focus then they add another amphetamine type of medications adderall because they cannot even function which is another habit forming drugs so they exposed by the time they cross the high school they are already exposed to multiple different type of drugs so the if we want to prevent our children not to go into drug then we have to be very careful about their environment who they are going who they are studying what is the school environment and are they using any household substance which can make them high at home at uh, at, uh, uh, at school unfortunately these days particularly both parents are working and then when the children comes home they are alone what are they doing we need to focus on that are they studying or they may be inhaling something they they have easy access to those solvents as i mentioned in uh, like um, eraser like marker like paints they may be exposed those things and then once they start exposed no wonder they will uh, exposed to weeds and unfortunately um, most schools have access to those substances so once they exposed to gateway drug then there is the chance that that person will be addicted to it um so it's very important to prevent our children from the gateway drugs because these if we stop the gate we will possibly control once they become exposed we become addicted 
and now the whole family, parents, um, um, relatives are blaming this is a bad choice, you are a bad, bad child, is, is a difficult task. Already the person is, is addicted to it. Now the person needs treatment, not prevention. Prevention stage was when that child was alone at home or in a bad company, whether he is or she is getting introduced to the gateway drugs. So if we really want to prevent it, prevent the gateway drugs, which are available everywhere, unfortunately. Now in the next lecture, um, I will um, explain why in spite of uh, exposure, many children or many people never addicted because this is also something um, many people has a um, wrong understanding that I was exposed, I did all these things, I never get addicted. So again they start blaming the, the, the children because they keep on doing or it's the wrong choices. So I will talk about why some people get addicted and some people don't get addicted.